Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a new data list function in handheld modes. And as you all know, before this function was added in the fixed mode so that you can use it to align pieces of data. And now it is available in both handheld modes, rapid and HD. So today I'm going to show you in the handheld rapid mode for the data group function. Uh, here you need to new set up a project and this project will be the first project for this workspace which will contain all your project in one workspace. And before set up, actually here I have one uh, most frequently asked question about the operation modes. Here are three options for the operation modes, classic, lightning and lightning and refine. So actually we can understand these three uh, operation modes in three aspects, scanning speed and uh, what's the resolution during your scan and uh, what's the result you can get from the three modes. So for the classic mode in the scanning speed, it will be 15 frames per second for the, you know, the flash, the flashing frames frequency of the uh, scanner. And uh, during your scan, the resolution will just be whatever resolution you selected. And after scan, it will directly do the data processing according to your selected resolution. And for lightning mode, in scanning speed, it is 30 frames per second. And during the scan, no matter what resolution you chose or selected, it will scan with one millimeter resolution to ensure a fast scanning process. And after the scanning, when you do the processing, it will use the interpolation algorithm to recalculate the data into your selected resolution. For lightning and refine, this mode is one of, is just my favorite mode because it is fast and at the same time it can bring you very good resolution as you want. Because in uh, this mode, in the scanning speed, it is the same like lightning, 30 frames per second. And uh, during the scan, the, it will show you the same as the lightning mode, just show you one millimeter resolution no matter what resolution, and it will show you one millimeter resolution. And after scan, there is one thing special for this mode. You select it. You select the resolution you want only after the scan. So after scan, once you selected the resolution you want, and the software will just refine the data into the selected resolution by the topology algorithm. Okay, so you can just it just you can just decide which mode you need to, you need to use depending on what aspect you request mostly. Okay, here we apply and just start our first scan. Okay, we just need to do as normal to start our scan. In this video, we accelerated the process. Okay, and uh, for the first project, you need to here click a new project and again apply it. Then here is a totally new project for project 2. You need to start your scan. Okay, now we got those two pieces of data in two different projects. And as you can see, they were not actually aligned together well. So you need to use a function the align for the data in the data group. So you need to just click the align function and in this function, you just 
drag and drop the data in those two windows. One is fixed, the other is floated. To align those two pieces of data, so you need to pick up three common points in those two windows. And you need to press shift and click somewhere you think they were actually the same area. It doesn't need to be exactly the same, but you need to ensure they are in the very similar nearby area so that the software will help you to calculate the alignment. It's better to choose three points, three dots in different angles so you can get a better alignment result. Here we go, after choosing those three dots, we got those two pieces of data aligned. And we click next and complete. If you have just more pieces of data, you just need to do the same operation, drag them again, align them, and then next. If you finish them all, just click complete. And mesh. When you do the mesh, the software will help you to merge all pieces of data together into one mesh. Here we go. This is the data we got.